morning. Good morning, everybody. How are you guys doing? Hope you're having a fantastic morning or afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the big wide world. We're back. We're live. We're streaming. Today is Monday. It is the start of a new week, of course. So I hope you guys are having a great start to your weekend. Um, all right. So it's going to be a fun day. Um, we're, we're actually going to start. We're going to play a little bit of Blitz to begin. Uh, so we'll start with some Blitz to play Robert Chessman. It's been a while since I've really played quite, quite a bit of Blitz. So I'm going to play some Blitz to start. Um, we have some articles to cover. We're going to cover the Pro Chess League a little bit later. The the Juggernaut St. Louis is playing as well. Start to the week, not the weekend. Um, but we do we do have that. Um, one second. Additionally, uh, what was I saying? We're coming PCL. Um, there's something else I was going to say. We're probably going to try to finish up the speed run today as well. So we have that too. Um, so it's going to be a fun day. This week is going to be very, very chock full of content, you guys. We have um, the Pro Chess League and Title Tuesday tomorrow. We have Arena Kings on Wednesday. We have a university uh, thing happening on Friday as well. So it's going to be a fun week, you guys. Um, I think I'm going to play h and maybe Night F3 next move. We also have Reddit React too. I forgot about Reddit React as well. We have Reddit React also. Um, I can take the pawn. I can also move the knight. Where do I want to go here? I think I'm gonna play knight e2 and take with the take with the queen. Okay, it goes bishop e6. I can play king b1, I guess. I don't really like this position. It's actually not very pleasant for me, but maybe I can take a rookie one. Not ideal. Uh, let's take the pawn here. I guess I go rookie one. Knight e3, I can take and take, I think, and I'm okay. Maybe I should have played knight f4 first. That would have been a better move. It goes queen d6. I think uh, rook f2 is very good for him. He missed it, luckily. So we get to play the game here. Um, knight f4 is a move. I'm looking for an option. Let's see. If I go knight f3, knight e3, knight... Knight e3, knight f4, I guess. I have this takes and rook e6. It should be okay. I'm not in love with my position, but it's playable. Play d4 next game? Uh, maybe I could. Also, you guys, uh, we're gonna have some articles to cover because the market is sinking today. I'm also gonna cover an article on um I'm gonna cover another article on, on finance as well a little bit later, too. Thank you to I'm Smooth for the Prime, thank you to MT Mathis for the Prime, thank you to Monk for the tier one, thank you to Six Lead D's for the tier one, Cortez with the Prime, thank you to Jano for the tier one, thank you to Sankus VCV for the Prime, Youngfish for the six, three sinking fingers for the seven, stance Brathing for the seven, and Facebook zombies for the seven as well. Thank you so much, you guys. And once again, also thank you to Chesley for that raid with 100 uh, with 157. Cryptos are going down. Everything's going down. My opponent is thinking forever here. What's going on? He plays knight before. He wants a three. And what's his idea? Queen d5. I'm a little confused. Queen d5. I can just play knight c1 to hold the checkmate. He takes. I take. Take and take. Looks good for me. Thanks a lot, Biden. Oh, no, the market's not down because of Biden, you guys. The market is down because... Um, isn't this just GG's? I hold everything. It's a classic right triangle. Um, and he loses the bishop, and everything is collapsing here. No, it's not down because of Biden. It's down because of China, you guys. It's because of China. Okay, we get the dub. Good start. No, no, I mean, it's mainly China, you guys. It's all about China. Okay, let's play A6. Uh, which one do I want to play? I guess I'll play this one with bishop g7. Okay, let's go here and take. Uh, you say fian you say fianchito. 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 Uh, let's go knight a5 here. Um, probably bishop g7, maybe c5 next move. I do have c5 here, I think. Oh, then he's bishop d5, maybe? This is a weird line. I, mean, I guess I just take and go bishop g7 and maybe knight f6, knight e4 and takes. Okay, I can obviously trade the bishops. I can also go knight f6 here, knight f6, e5, knight h5 I think is playable or just back. I also have knight e4 here, which is kind of 
interesting i'm gonna take take and take the pawn and try to argue i have compensation i probably don't have enough but it's probably something yeah stop spamming this, these haunts things you guys thank you to mass for the two months thank you to young grab for the 14 as well thank you so much appreciate it okay so let's just take i'm gonna take and then take the pawn also maybe i had knight a4 there let's take let's castle queen e7 maybe knight a4 is better hit the pawn on b2 possibly although i should be fine here why do some people say greece while others say hellas um you mean hellenistic or i don't i don't know what you mean by that now i can't castle because i take on h2 with check here so i assume this wasn't right okay goes queen e2 i can castle though anyway and now he still can't castle because i take with check again if i get rookie eight and bishop b7 I have, I have two ops which are aiming isn't there just check and take but if market is down there's a chance to buy I mean yeah we're down what a good two and a half percent in the last um we're down two and a half percent in between Friday and today I'm not buying but there 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 there, there, there might be a window if you really believe buy the dip um then yeah but I, I I'm not I'm not buying I mean, we're down low. S and P was down 0.9 on S and P was down 0.9 on Friday. It's 1.5. So yeah, it's like basically two two and a half percent. Take the pawn here. He still can't castle. I should be I should be probably winning. Um, go here, touch the rook. I can play like rookie eight, which would be seven. This all looks very very good. Go here. I have bishop f four check. Take the queen next move. Maybe you can go queen f one. But again, this looks really really bad. Why don't I just go check? check and now I take the queen and we're, we're well on our way to a dub here I'm gonna go bishop g4 next move maybe queen d5 go check he can't block so c5 I mean there's another pawn to be had here I think I'll just take the juicer why not um let's go check now I bishop f5 check I mean this whole thing collapses okay let's play e4 Go here, hit the bishop, just bishop a4, bishop b3, next move. Castle is obviously fine. I can also take the bishop here. Uh, bishop g5, I believe, is also a move, if I remember correctly. I can hit the knight. I think I'm Mark Meech for the seven months. Thanks so much to Mark Meech. Appreciate it. Thank you for the seven. I can take on f6. I think I can also go bishop h4, bishop g3 here. Okay, does play d5 i can still take i can also take the bishop on b6 i don't really want to do that um I can take on f6 too maybe is this bad or not is the question huh let's think i guess i'll just go back and play bishop a4 just keep it very simple here good afternoon or evening wherever you are in the world yeah yeah it's good to be back you guys i took yesterday off of course as you know um I was doing some other stuff but anyway we're back and we're, we're we're gonna have a fun week you guys it's gonna be a fun fun week okay let's go back to g3 here it's gonna be a long week you guys because tomorrow we have we have the pro we have the pro chess league and title tuesday uh so we have both those events on the same day so it's gonna be a very long tuesday oh was i doing tube content yesterday no i was not doing any tube content no I think my opponent's a little bit worse here by the way his pawn's weak I think I just go here and take the pawn on e5 queen d3 I have queen e2 maybe looks a little bit suspicious I don't know if I should take but I'll just play bishop b3 and just play simple chess but probably I should just take the pawn and call his bluff and ask him what he's doing so I have bishop d6 maybe Thank you to just gonna send it, bud, for the five months. Thank you, thank you so much. You're just gonna send it. Now, if I take you as rookie eight, I don't really like that so much. I mean, knight c4 seems like the the choice, the prefer preferable move. Let's just play knight c4. Because if knight e4, I can just trade the queens. If he goes back, I assume I can trade and maybe take. Unclear, but we'll see. Ikaru, right now, I don't believe him. Yeah, I don't believe my opponent. Okay, let's go here. I'm gonna go bishop c2 next move. 
Maybe castle. I think I'm much better here. I have h4 to open up the king side too. This looks very, very questionable. Let's go here. I have knight f5, bishop c2. This looks really, really questionable. Let's go here. I have knight f5, h4 also. Okay, h4 is a move. Knight f5 is also pretty strong here, I think. And queen f6, h4. Yeah, let's just do, let's just do this. And if queen f6, I'm going to go h4. That's my idea. I hit the pawn on h6. I have h4 to undermine the, the, the pawn on g5 and the bishop on h5. Okay, let's go h4, of course. If knight f4 takes, 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 I'm up two pawns and I should be winning. Uh, that's a free juicer. Okay, this should just be lost. Let's go here, hit the queen. Yeah, I can play knight e5 here, which also looks very strong. If he takes, I just take back. If f6, did I just blunder? Oh, no, I just made a blunder. But I have a four maybe in between. I made a blunder, but he missed it. Okay, let's take. Okay, let's just take. H5, H6 should be winning. Yeah, let's just um play H5 five here. I can also just castle. I can also go E5, but I think I'm just going to castle here. Okay, let's go E5 here. Try to open up the center of the board. I have rookie one. I have queen E4. Feels like I should have too much here in the center of the board. Okay, takes. I will go check. I can obviously trade the queens here. Um, I can also go queen d3, maybe. Then he has queen. I ah, know. Then I trade. Okay, whatever. Let's just take. Win the end game. This must be winning. I'm up two pawns. I've got a great bishop going to e4. Good wooden shield. All looks pretty clean here. Thank you to Anish for the 16. I'm loving the Brazilian Hikaru. Yeah, we're, we're trying to push towards 3200. That's our goal today. Okay, let's take. Let's go here. He takes, I just take, I have bishop e4. I mean, this should just be winning. Okay, if I check king e7, I can check king here. I mean, this two pawns extra end game, I'm sure, is winning, but I don't really want to allow that, so let's just go check. And on here, I think I have here, because now I have rookie six check to win the bishop, so I just go like here, and then I take. And my instinct is that this, well, that's a free rook. I think, you know, wanton king games for the gifted sub. Thank you so much for wanton king games. Okay, let's go back to this. Um, play here. He wants to play that bishop d2 line. I'm going to play the other order. I'm going to go g6 here. Let's go um, go here. I can take, I guess. Let's go here. Probably knight e7. Maybe bishop g4. Let's go here. Probably h6, g5. I'm going to go g5, g4. I think that's my plan, at least. I had this against Vichy Anand many years ago in the Tal Memorial. I know it's objectively not ideal, but it's kind of like a little bit dicey for white. Okay, I have f5. Actually, f5. Now let's go here and castles, I guess. I got to stop d5. I also have f5 at the right moment. There's rookie one logical. Um, okay, I can retreat. Then e5 could be an issue, but I think I have knight d5 here. Knight d5, e6, bishop g6, takes, 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 rookie eight. Unclear, but it's worth a shot. How old was I when I knew I'd make chess a career? Um, oh, right. There's also one other bit of news. Speaking of Anish in India, there, we have one other piece of news that I'll get to shortly as well. Um, let's go here. Which is that I was going to say that we're going to be playing this indie. There's this uh, going to be this Indian event going on. Um, it's October 11th to 16th, I think it is. If I have the if I have the dates right, um, and it will be 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 it's being put on by Mr. Sam A. Reina. So we have that coming up as well. Um, let's go here. I guess he goes bishop e5 and we trade. Not really sure what's going on. Um, I go here takes and I take. If knight f3, I can also just go king f7 and rook d8. So there's a, I forget, thank you to Olios for the 13, Barhau for the 5 as well. Thank you so much. I forget what it's called exactly, but um, yeah, we have that coming up as well. I think I can just go rook d8. And if knight e4, I have b6 and c5. It's not wonderful, but it's not bad either. Okay, I, of course I should go b6. I got to cut the knight c5 trick, and now I have c5, bishop d5. a2 is actually hanging here, I just realized, so we'll see what he does. It goes knight g3, so if I take... I, I can give him the trip, the legendary triple stack. I mean, is that actually good for white? I don't believe him. I'm going to take. So if he takes, I just go here. If he checks, I guess I go here. He does that, so I guess I go... I think I go here and just take the pawn. 
Or do I trade rooks and take? Actually, wait, no. I think I trade rooks and take. Yeah, let's trade the rooks and take the pawn. So I have this and this, and then knight d7, king d6 should be winning. He also has double pawns, which is not good either. Is it a team event? Yes, it is a team event, you guys. Yeah, it is a team event. Thank you to Lantern for the five months. Thank you so much to Lantern. Appreciate it. Thank you. How old was I when I knew I'd make chess a career? Uh, probably after I dropped out of college. I was 18 years old. Goes this way, but I suspect that I should be winning here. Uh, now, I don't know how I'm winning, but I suspect that my queenside pawn should be faster. It's not easy to prove, though. Um, let's go here. I have bishop d5, I guess. I want one, two, three. This is my idea. Use the outside pawns, maybe. Okay, so I'm going to let him take all these pawns. I mean, I can go rook d8. I can also go rook f5, maybe. Let's just go with the pawns. Let's just trust in our pawns on the queen side that they're quick enough. I'm going to go b4, a3. I don't know if it's actually quick enough, but it feels like it's the right idea. Like, go here and rook a8, I guess. I can also go bishop e6. I can also just go here, though, and king a5. I'm going to go b4. Okay, let's go here. I have b4, a3 coming. I think his pawns are just too slow on the on the king's side, on the queen's side, or on the king's side, rather, I should say. But let's 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 make sure. I don't want to go b4. I think I'm going to go... I don't actually know if I'm quick enough here. Let's go here. I got to move quicker. I just want to go b4, a3. Knight g4. Okay, let's go here. Knight e3. Okay, whatever. We have to go for this end game. So be it. At b4, a3. I, if I go king c4, I mean, I don't believe him. I think his pawns are too slow. I don't believe him here. His pawns are only getting to g4. His pawns must be too slow. I have d4, d3, d2 also. I also have rook g8 as well. Um, it goes g5. Go here. I go here, takes. I mean, my king's too quick, isn't it? Surely with one pawn, this must be winning. So I can play d4. I can also just queen and take, I guess. This pawn is too fast, I think. Go here. Go here. And now I have d3, and my pawn is just too fast. Get the dub. Let's keep going. Play something else. Let's go knight f3 this game. It's a Brazil. Yeah, we're 4 0 against this guy. Let's try to get to 6 0. Play d4. He plays bishop g4. Let's go h3 and takes, of course. Okay, he plays bishop h5. Um, play this one. Think about Marin Mortal for the prime. I don't know if that was winning. That's just my instinct that I played it correctly, but I could be completely wrong. Um, I think I'm just going to play here and maybe bishop d3 and queen c2. I don't actually know why I want queen b3, but whatever. I mean, business day? No, I'm just trying to chill and, and enjoy myself, you guys. After all, what can you do when the market's down like 2%? You can only chill. That's all you can do. Take. Let's castle here. This is not a tournament. We're just we're playing blitz. Okay, I do have e4 here just to open this up. I think this makes a lot of sense. Did I buy anything today? No, I'm not buying anything. I can play b3 here. Um, I can also put the bishop on c3. I'm just going to play traditional bishop b2 maybe. Although he's got queen a5, which I kind of should not have allowed. I guess I should go here and maybe queen e3. I have to be a little bit careful of this king side because he could maybe do something. It's pretty unlikely, but it is possible. It's not really dangerous to castle king side, but I have to be careful because he could go queen side here. I don't think it works. Okay, so he basically just says no. Um, so let's just play a3, rook b1, b4. Thank you to uh, Mudora for the 15. Thank you so much to Mudora. Okay, now we're just in a standard position again. Just bishop b2, rook a d1, pretty normal. Go here and rook a d1. Maybe b, maybe I have b4 here, but I think rook d1 must be right. His queen might get a little bit tricked. It might get stuck here if he's not careful with g4 lurking. Slightly better because of the double pawns, but it's nothing special. Is weather getting colder in LA? Europe is already kind of cold. Um, 
not really i would say i mean it's not not really cold but the more the mornings are cold i will say that the mornings are the mornings are always cold here um so that's always why i would come in like wearing wearing it wearing a jumper um let's go okay rookie three is in with b4 is also actually rookie three is fine because c5 i have d5 damn close 3200 time to beat stockfish yeah except stockfish is much stronger than 3200 Okay, it goes Rook F8. I don't actually know what that does. This idea... I mean, G4 is definitely... G4, C5. I guess that's his idea is to play C5. I can also play, like, Bishop C3, maybe. Queen A3. Queen D2. Or Queen C2. Queen A3. And nah, that's no good. Um, Okay, I don't want to use too much time. So let's go B4 here. I don't know if this is the right move, but I'm going to play G4, G5. I'm just going to go for it here. Plays b5. I can obviously I can take a pawn. I can also go g. I'm gonna go g5 and c5 here. His knight doesn't have any jumps. As long as his knight can't get to d5 here, I should be okay. I have queen f4. I have rookie four. So let's just go. Uh, let's go here. Let's consolidate. Knight f8. Okay, that's a logical move. But now I think I'm just much better. I bishop f4 and h4 probably. Although wait, no, he's getting something here. Actually, he's getting a bishop d8. Goes a5. Okay, let's see. I can try to rotate my knight here. Let's see. Knight e5 is probably not the right move, but I'm going to play it anyway. Goes knight d7 to trade some knights. I don't really want to trade, so I think I'm going to go here. I can still take with the knight, trap the rook maybe. Knight b4, but knight b4 is rook f5, so that can't be right. Okay, let's go here. Now I'm definitely looking to sack, by the way. Um, go here. Probably goes back. I go queen f3. Okay, it goes there. Let's go here. Knight e3 now. Reroute my knight. Maybe get it to g4 and e5 even. I rook b1 here. Okay, it goes there. I'm trying to break through, but it's very, very hard. Maybe h5 is a move. Um, I'm actually slow on time as well, which is not going to help. Um, okay, let's just go for it. Let's play. Oh, but I just hung G5. What was that? Very, very poor. Okay, let's go here. Okay, he missed Bishop D6, but it's still... Yeah, I think it's Bishop E7. I've got to go. I've just got to go. I just have to move quicker. Just trust the instinct and flow. G5, knight h3. Or knight d3 too. But knight h3 must be right. He's low on time. There's f6. Let's go f4 and take, I guess. Go here. Knight g5, I guess. Very sharp position. Let's go here. Go for an end game. I have 96 here. Very, very tricky. Okay, let's go. Go. Um, go. Uh, let's go here. I have 96 next move. Go here, 95. Go here. Oh, let's go here. Oh, I just blunt. Uh, wait, I just blundered. Or no, I didn't blunder. Uh, he checks. There we go. And we got the mate. Next game. All right, let's keep going. Tough game. Okay, he plays knight c3. So now he's going to change it up. All right, he's mixing, mixing it up. I'm going to play g6 to do something different this time. Let's go here. I almost blundered. Actually, I was lucky that it wasn't a blunder because if he played, um, if he played rook takes knight, I go rook e1, and I'm winning. So a little bit lucky. Okay, he's gonna castle queen side. I'm just gonna go here and bishop e6. I guess keep it really simple. He can obviously take the crazy ape for the 12 months. Thank you so much to crazy ape. H4. I think h6 is just fine. Queen d7. Next move should be reasonably decent. Thank you to Microsoft Johnson for the eight months. Thank you so much to Microsoft Johnson. Am I in Brazil? No, I'm not in Brazil. 
Uh, I can play a6 here. Why not? Actually, eh, but he... Eh, meh, no, let's go queen d7. Am I cleaning my hairs every day? I don't really know what the point of that question is, but hey, whatever whatever works, dude. Okay, plays rookie one. I can obviously not castle kingside. I can castle queenside, maybe. I can also play b5 and take, and b5, knight a5 is kind of interesting. Yeah, let's go for this. I'm going to play knight a5 here. If he takes, I just take back. I have knight b3 or knight c4 here lurking. Thank you to Elia for the 12 months. Thank you so much to Elia. Appreciate it. Thank you. Knight d5 is probably actually a very good move. Uh, I don't have c5 here, which is what I wanted. If I play knight b3, takes, takes, castles queenside or something, this is pretty bad. Knight e5 is a good move, and I'm somewhat in trouble here. Let's go here. More than somewhat. I'm actually in real trouble here, I think. But maybe I can survive this somehow. I can take and go e5. This is not, not, not good. Am I going to do more over-the-board tournaments? Not likely. Um, I have Riga coming up, coming up in about a month or so, but after that, I don't think I'll be playing over the board for a very long time. Probably not until the middle of 2022 is my guess. Bishop d4, I go e5, so he takes. Now, do I play a bond cloud with king takes? We are playing blitz, right? So for the memes, let's do it. For the memes, let's take with the king. I go e5 and rook f8. I mean, it's not wonderful, but it's also not terrible either. Oddly enough, I think I'm somewhat okay. I'm low on time. I'm down 10 seconds here. Not, not really low on time yet. Okay, I go here, of course. I mean, he goes queen d2. Oh, he plays this. Interesting. So I can obviously trade and go c6 maybe. What's going on here? Go here, rook a5, king e6, and then d5. I can, yeah, I think I go here. I have d5 next move. I also have bishop f6. Okay, plays b3. I can take the pawn. I can also play bishop f6 here to hit the pawn on h4. If h5, I guess I take... It goes rook h1, logical. I can take... I can also play d5 here. I don't really want to take this pawn, but I maybe don't have a better choice. I am now. I'm a little bit low on time. Now I got to speed it up a little bit. Just take. Let's go like... Okay, let's go, like, here to hit the rook. Maybe rook f4 and h5 is an idea or something. I think I'm going to play h5. Fix the weakness on the dark square. Because in an endgame, it's a, it's a weak pawn. Let's go... I guess let's just go here. I don't know what I'm doing exactly. I guess rook a1. I can take... Let's go here. I want to go d5 at some point. It goes bishop g5. Don't like this at all. Um, what do I play here? I'm not going to trade. I guess I'll just go here and rook a7 or something. Go here. He goes bishop f2. I think I can play like here. Maybe rook b7. Maybe a5 at some moment. Um... I, I just have to move quicker. I'm just moving too slowly here. Let's see what he does. He's probably going to trade. Time is pretty tight here at the moment. Okay, I guess I go a5 and takes. <clears throat> Go here. I have king b5. I, can, I mean, go back. Uh, let's just go here, I guess, in a4. He goes king a4. Let's go back. I think this is just going to be a draw. Unless, unless I can find... Oh, I just hung a pawn. Whoops. That was not intentional. Oh, I just hung the pawn. Let's go... So here I've got to go quicker. Yeah, it's just a draw. He 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 had he had, he had rook a six. He, he he had rook a six, which he missed, which was winning. So I'm not gonna risk. I was down six seconds there. It's not the time to go for broke. Um, absolutely not the time to go for broke there. 
Rest in peace points. Oh, is there a bet on the line there? Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe there was. Thank you to Vikes for 27. Castle. Was it? It was not a draw. No, at the end, at the end, he was, at the end, he was probably winning. At the end, he was winning. So I was like, you know what? I'm not going to take that risk there and lose the game. Now it's takes, I forget how this line, I think takes an A3 is the line, if I remember, because I can take with a knight. Now F4 is the move, so I can take and go here or something. I could outplay him. No, I was down six seconds and his moves were more, more obvious too. Go here. Maybe knight g3 is better, but anyway, whatever. We keep going. Let's go here. I have knight e4, maybe queen f3, maybe bishop e3. I also have queen h5 check, which is a big, big threat here. You don't like the draw? Yeah, but I mean, there was nothing I could really do. Okay, goes g6. But I think I can just play like bishop e3. And if he takes, I have queen h5. I go queen f3. It's not perfect, but it's also not terrible either. Who is the worst play? Who is the... Uh, who is the worst chess player currently? I don't know, you guys. I think Dr. Dog, Mr. Castle. Also, that's a pretty negative question. Um, pretty negative question. I actually really like my position here, by the way, because now I'm going to get 94. I'm going to get a grip on the light squares. Let's go here. Oh, did I just hang 94? Shoot. I guess I have king h1 and rook b1 in some kind of tactic. I should have just gone king h1. Why didn't I do this right away? Okay, takes, I take. Okay, so he plays rook g6, logical move. Go queen h5 and rook f2, maybe? Queen h5, rook f2 looks... Oh, then he has f5. Okay, so he has ideas. So I can play knight g3. Let's think about how I want to do this. I guess I'll just go... I guess I'll just go here in g3, probably. And then I can take and play rook f1 and rook h5. Go here, target the pawn, step one. H3 was also maybe strong. Actually, actually, wait, let's go H3, rook f1, and g4. Let's go here, and I want to go g4. And then he can never push the pawn. Okay, go g4. This should be very good for me. Okay, now how do I win this? d4 is a logical move. Now let's play d4 and open it up now. Is Rapport stronger than Ali Reza? Uh... Tough question. I don't know. My instinct is to say no, but I really, I mean, it's, it's an impossible question to ask. Okay, now one second. I can take on e5. I can also go c4 takes. Don't love that. Knight d6. Rook e1 is still probably good for me, but it's probably not winning. I'm going to go here and maybe knight f5. This seems more reasonable. It's not a possible question to ask. Yeah, yeah, no, it's a tough question, though. I don't know if there's a clear answer. I think Ali Rez is better, but that's just my guess. Okay, let's go here. I want to go A4, C4 here. If he takes, I just take. Again, I cover the fifth rank. Knight B5, I just take. Knight F5, maybe C4 is an idea here. Am I still in crypto? Yes, you guys. I'm still holding my lovely, uh, my lovely, my lovely, my lovely Ethereum coins that I bought at $3,800. Oh, yeah, baby. Buy high, sell low. Um, let's play C4 here. I can take, of course. Um, maybe Knight of 5 next. Oh, he's got Rook G5, which he missed. Um, he had Rook G5. He didn't see it. Okay, now I think Knight of 5 is a move. A4, I don't like. I think I'm just going to move my king. I'm up a lot on the clock. He does have this weird 98, 97 idea. Okay, let's go here. Target the juicer. Okay, I think I'm going to play a4. I don't like a4, it puts, but it puts the pawns on the light squares at least, which does do something. Go here. I do have knight h4 here, but I think I'm going to go here. Target this knight h4 still threat. Let's go here. Guess I can just take with the bishop probably and take. Still complicated. Quite complicated. Let's go rook f3 and takes. Knight g6 next move, I think, which is winning. I also have bishop e5. I think this is cleanest, though. This is just, bishop's just trapped here. He has knight e4, but, but actually it's check on f8. So I can go like rook e3 or wait. No, no, wait. Let's go here. He moves the rook, and then I move the knight, and I just win the game. And check, but I come up. Go, let's be a little bit careful. Let's go rook f4. Okay, um, let's go here, take the pawn.
Thank you to Joe Hoven for the 10 months. Um, let's play E5 again. I'm going to do the same thing. Maybe just castles. Maybe just... Actually, let's play... Um, yeah, let's play H6 again. Let's go A6 here in B5. What time is it in the U.S. right now? It is currently 8.45 a.m. here. Excuse me. On the west coast of the United States of, of America. Let's go here. Takes, I just take, of course. Because bishop b3. I guess I'll go here. I still want to go knight a5 at some point. Um, I think d6. Knight a5 is still a move, of course. But I don't really want to play it. I'm just going to go here. Queen d7. I think I'm going to actually castle my queen to the queen side here. Now let's go here. He takes, and I take. He takes, I take. I think I'm going to castle the queen side. I don't know if it's right, but it seems reasonable. Let's just do it. If I lose, I lose. But I, I think it's worth a shot. Or wait, does he, does he have some way to win material here? I don't think so. Okay, takes. I can take with the knight, mate. No, that, no that's just bad because I hang up seven. Probably going to play bishop d4 and try to draw this, though. Because bishop d5, okay. That's, that's actually, I'm kind of happy to see that. Go here because I can take. If f4, I can go knight c4. Don't love the position, but it's playable. I also have c6 here to remove the bishop next move. So knight c4, I guess, and maybe it goes knight a5. I think I'm okay here. I'm doing okay. It's not winning or anything, but it's not bad. Let's go knight c4. I'm going to play knight a... Knight a5 or not? Wait, what? Huh? I have knight b2. Knight b2, knight a5. Still tricky, though. King c7. Queen a3, knight d1 is winning. Yeah, queen d3, knight b2 is ggs. Yeah, I think it's ggs. If it's not ggs, so be it. Check king c7. Doesn't have any squares. If he goes here, I just take. If he goes here, I take. And then I have knight c6, knight c6 takes, takes. Knight c6, knight c3 is winning, though. Knight c6, I have knight c3 in between. And if he takes the knight, I can, I can just take the pawn, I think. Or I can play queen e5, which also should be winning. Do I go queen e4 or queen e5 is the big question. To be or not to be. To be or not to be. To be or not to be. Um, be or not to be. This looks like the safest one, so I'm going to do it. This looks safest. I'm just going to sack my queen back and go bishop b6. This looks safest. King b6, I have f Five maybe. I have rook d7, rook e8. And he finds queen f3, which actually I kind of missed. Kind of missed that move. And now it's a little bit... Wait, I have to be very careful how I do this. I think I have to go here and rook d7 and rook e8. I have to be very careful. I missed that. It still should be winning. Still should be winning, but I, I missed this queen f3, e5 trick. So I go here, go here. And I can play rook f8 or rook e7. My instinct says that this f pawn is actually very important in, in all these lines. So I think if I take f2, I must be winning here. This knight is actually very bad. I can always go like a5, a4 even. I can go king b7 too. I can also just take a5. Looks no, let's not let's not let's not gamble. Let's just take. Let's go here a4. Where is his rook? His rook is missing. Go here. I mean, this has to be winning for me. See, so yeah, I can make a check, and then if C3, I can make a check. Think about Bugatti Juice for the three. Thank you, E cool four for the prime. Thank you so much, E cool four. If King A3, he gets made it on C5. So I think this is GG. So I take. I'm threatening Rook B2. I'm gonna have to move the Knight or something. This is a big threat. Think about Sasoranik for the five months. Uh, check Puzzle Rush. GGs. All right, you guys, we get the dub. We get a nice fat dub. We move our rating up to 3,200 right on the nose. And of course, you guys, most importantly, we, we become the first Brazilian player of all time to reach a rating of 3,200 on chess.com. So that's, of course, the most important thing to do. Back in the club, yeah. Back back in the club, yeah. Maybe I'll go outside. Actually, there was a Brazilian. One of the Brazilian streamers was here this morning uh, here at TSM. I was talking to her very briefly. Um, so may maybe I'll go out and celebrate with the other Brazilians. Uh, I'm making a distance to Dania. I, I mean, I'll give you guys the classic line. 
The classic line, I don't care. I really don't care at all about whatever Daniel's Blitz rating is. The only thing that I care about at this point are like the overall records. In Blitz, Bullet, whatever you name it, that's all that matters. So, all right, you guys, I'm going to